Uh, my name is Richard Holland. I'm a retired businessman. I think that health care, the passing of universal health care, uh, could be one of the great things to happen in American life. I think that way because the failure to do so is almost a tragedy when you think about a health care plan which treats very wealthy people and well-to-do people uh, well and uh, in a good way and then leaves a large number of poor uh, without anything at all. I think you, if you want to think about health care in a way that benefits everybody, you've got to think about what is good for the country. Now keep in mind at the present time that we're spending 17% of our gross national product on health care when most nations are spending between 10 and 11%. That's a huge difference despite the fact that it doesn't cover everyone, uh, is an outlandish number. And the only way to bring it under control is to reduce costs. And the largest contribution to costs are those that are charged by insurance companies. I think if you look at how your political leadership uh, is voting on this, and if you look into their backgrounds, you'll find out that they are getting a lot of money from the insurance industry and from anybody else that would benefit from the private system where they are making enormous funds. Ask your United States Senator whether or not he has insurance connections. Then, then, then judge how well he's doing his job. One of the best things about the new plan is simply that we're going to try and have a thing called a public option. And the public option will be something that will compete with those high prices in insurance claims. Another thing that's killing a lot of people is simply the, if you have a uh, condition before you get the insurance, some kind of a, uh, uh, thing like asthma or something, you get insurance rates that are just impossible. I pay for a, Housekeeper, who a housekeeper, think of this, $1,300 a month. I have a daughter who has asthma. She pays $750 a month. It's just unbelievable how bad the system we have is and has performed. The difference between that 16 or 17% and listen, somebody, some, I'm sure that that's being measured accurately, but the difference between that number and the number that it should be uh, represents a huge amount of money that could be going into things that this country also needs, like education. I don't think anybody has spent an, um, very much time thinking about the effects of our present health care system upon the businesses of the United States when they're trying to compete in world markets. Some businesses are terribly hurt in, in, in comp competition. The automobile industry is one. But I also think even about small employers trying to get bigger and trying to get larger and trying to build businesses which someday will be great ones. Uh, they're stuck by these kinds of costs uh, which are not, uh, which uh, do not contribute uh, to the health of their businesses. And the other thing to think about is universal health care means everybody. And everybody being healthier, you just cannot pass up the fact that that is better for our country.